You've seen the headlines. In silico trials, AI design drugs, 3D printed pills. The pharmaceutical future sounds like science fiction. But after hundreds of keynotes and countless off-stage conversations with pharma leaders, I can tell you what they say publicly and what they believe privately are often very different. Now, I will share what pharma executives really think about the future and what keeps them up at night. The trends they say they love but rarely act on. Let's start with the public narrative. Patient centricity, digital transformation, personalized medicine. These are powerful buzzwords. But behind closed doors, adoption often lags. Take augmented reality to explain medications or 3D printed drugs tailored to individual needs. These are technically possible, but they are stuck in pilot phase. No wide rollout, no real impact yet. The reality? The patient-centric revolution is being slowed by legacy systems, outdated structures within the pharma companies, and a very cautious culture. Everyone in pharma keeps saying that regulations are the reason behind that. So while these trends sound great on stage, in boardrooms, leaders are quietly pivoting to more feasible bets. Part two, what they are actually excited about. Now here is what gets pharma execs genuinely excited. AI. And not just any AI, generative models that are transforming drug discovery. NVIDIA and Recursion can now screen over 2.8 quadrillion molecule target pairs in a week. That would have taken 100,000 years with old school methods. Benevolent AI scans literature and datasets faster than any team of researchers. Schrodinger, DeepMind, they are not experimenting with AI anymore, they are building pipelines around it. Even internal tools like Roche GPT are helping employees automate paperwork, analyze therapies, and optimize operations. This is one trend pharma isn't just talking about, they are investing in it hard. Part three, blind spots and missed opportunities. Here is where it gets interesting. Pharma execs know some of their most valuable opportunities are being overlooked. Digital health tools like Russia's MySugar or GSK's smart inhalers add value beyond the pill. They boost outcomes, reduce costs, and appeal to insurers. Still, not every initiative lands. Biogen, for example, shut down its digital health unit after trying to partner with Apple. That sent a clear signal. Even big bets can flop. But the lesson isn't to stop trying, it's to build smarter, more resilient models that blend therapy with advanced technologies. Part four, high risk, high reward moves. What really keeps pharma executives up at night? The moonshots, the high risk, high reward bets. In silico trials are making huge progress. Think organs on a chip and mathematical models of human physiology. But we are not ready to ditch human trials just yet. Digital therapeutics are promising with companies like Pfizer and Sidekick already collaborating, but the field still lacks large-scale randomized evidence. And then there is the big gamble, partnering with tech giants, quantum computing with Google, health apps with Apple. Sometimes it works, sometimes it ends in bankruptcy. There's always a fear. Are we collaborating with future competitors who will one day own the value chain? Here is the truth. Pharma's future will be built behind the scenes in strategy meetings, R&D labs, and patient communities. What I have learned over the years is this. The pharma leaders who will thrive are those who balance shiny innovation with real lasting change. That means asking bold questions and making hard decisions about products that solve real life patient or clinical needs. And that's what we explore here week by week. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve, subscribe and join me on this journey into the future of pharma, medicine, and healthcare. And as always, stay curious, safe, and keep shaping the future. If you like this video, please subscribe below to get notified about every single new video we come up with. And also please go to medicalfuturist.thinkific.com where you will find our two courses, the digital health course and our newest one, Introduction to Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Healthcare. See you there.